industrial presentation on re reinventing the learning experience for the new normal i would like to call upon mr peter jess lan managing director south asia and head apac public sector business unit jabra i know i'm between your uh, lunch and uh, this session is in between so i'll keep it sharp um it was truly a very inspiring and very informative panel discussion that we had so thank you so much for that it really opens up your eyes and there is really no end to learning that's what you see so the next 15 minutes let me quickly give you a view as to i've heard certain things people talking about information being available um technology being uh, deployed what we did 18 months back what we did was because we were forced to do i think now is the time after 18 months it is good to for a moment to stop think as to what we have done is good not good and try and do those changes so that we can institute or have a strategy which is obviously tech enable in that sense and which will be more effective what um, you know today we'll be covering three parts one essentially is about uh, issues or tech challenges faced by educators two what are the typical learning models and third the technology that is available to take care of the issues we did a couple of survey as jabra and also you know looked at multiple studies that were there this is a typical issue that faced right teachers find it very very difficult to keep students engaged in a online uh, teaching environment and to add it to that the students also find it very difficult and they find it very difficult to be engaged in an online session the bigger issue is that teachers who have been tasked with or who have you know done multiple years of spending time imparting knowledge to the students suddenly have to become tech support engineers right um most of the times when you start a call including the corporate calls i'm sure i've heard that happening um in the, with the students and teachers community is the first 5 10 minutes is spent figuring out the technical issues it could be a link failure it could be a platform issue it could be an audio device issue it could be a video device issue right so what is happening is teachers were rushed while focusing on you know the curriculum and delivering the curriculum and imparting knowledge and education to students suddenly are expected to become technical support and that's not fair what is happening today is when we started off 18 20 months back when covid hit us from a 100% on campus learning suddenly we moved into 100% at home learning now as we heard um, the educators talking about people kids have slowly started coming back to uh, schools now which is the hybrid or the blended kind of learning so that is there to stay i think we have been saying we have seen it worldwide that no one model fits is never the you know zero or one situation there is always some middle way there are situations where almost the entire school came back like australia was a classical case we completely moved back to the campus and suddenly the second third god knows which way hit and now they are back studying from home and teaching from home now there are situations in some uh, colleges and uh, schools in in the us where we have 30 40 50% 50 students in the class 50 elsewhere and they do a you know kind of a circulatory thing one week in one week out kind of a thing so this blended learning is going to happen and if we have equipped ourselves to doing 100% home learning that is not going to work as we heard people talking about the teaching methodologies which methodologies to adapt to this hybrid learning or blended learning it is important that the technology that you have deploying that you deploy should adapt to hybrid learning one of the things that we seen and possibly rightly so is when the covid hit or it hit everybody by surprise including the corporates so it is seen one of the studies talks about most of the schools were unprepared with a it specific uh, strategy right they have spent money not their schools have not deployed uh, technology right whether it is to do with computers to teaching aids all kinds of digital contents people and the institution did spend money but in terms of expecting this kind of a issue no right so people went ahead and did a bandaid approach so strategy was an issue and two also from a budget perspective because it is not anticipated the spend that was that was specified for um, for for the uh, technology was not all that great 
So this being the issue, I just want to now focus on the learning models. Typically, when we talk about COVID, there are two things we speak about, right? In-person learning, and then we had um, remote learning. Yes, which is true. But I think it is also important for you to look at the two more aspects, the asynchronous and synchronous learning, right? So there are uh, things like, for instance, when you're teaching and somebody is uh, being taught, you want a experience of being connected synchronously right so it is it is when if you look at a two by two matrix where you position time on one scale and um, location on one scale right so there is there are there are models or there are requirements where you need to be synchronously talking to your student there are things like uh, you know you could have delivered a lecture today's well people just deliver a lecture students are able to listen to it any time. But what is required in a synchronous manner is the tutorials or the tutes that happen, which becomes a small group activity. So that will be a, a synchronous model, but you can just deliver online lectures or leave knowledge and information around, which can be asynchronous. This will help you determine the tech strategy and not just say everything needs to be synchronous. So you need to invest in both asynchronous and synchronous models. So that will help you kind of figure out what your students require and make sure that your technology investments are maximized. Now look, let's now look at what are the technologies that typically can be used in hybrid learning and how as Jabra we enable. Now look at any teacher, um, before that if, just to say, I, I just did mention that it is not as if money was not spent by educational institutions, you did spend, so globally this was it. But you know there has been a tremendous increase in technology investment. Something like 36 percent increase in technology has uh, spent has happened by the educational institutions, which is split into electronics, including wearables. Right? It's not just about you having the back end; it's also about every end, the teacher end and the student end being enabled. So a lot of money has been spent across um, um, in the education space. Now let us look at what typically a teacher needs. Um, I mean, many years back, we went to school and universities, uh, and you continue to teach now. One thing that has not changed is teachers wanting to move around and talk. I, I just can't imagine how any of my teachers would have sat in a table looking at a, you know, a monitor and teaching for so many hours. It's just not possible, right? Only time they sat essentially was to correct something. Very rarely, you know, one hour, they were always up on the dais, walking around, writing on the notice board and doing it. Suddenly, uh, uh, teachers or the teachers who are used to doing something like that is suddenly asked to sit in one place and do it. It's not good. Similarly, you need to write, people see, and as you ask questions, you're clarifying and writing. There are institutions which use props, flip charts all around the classroom, right? Now, how do you capture all this in a remote learning? or even in hybrid learning where some kids are here. So kids who are in the class have the benefit of seeing that and the kids elsewhere can't see. So this is a typical pain point where you cannot, you're not able to engage the entire student population because of the situation where uh, the technology is limiting, right? Because if you look at um, a video camera or any camera, there is something called as a field of view, which is about 90 to 100 degrees. So anything other than that is not going to be covered. Whereas when your teacher is standing and walking, the entire 180 degrees, both he or she sees and the students are also able to perceive and see the entire classroom, a typical problem that needs solving. Okay. So what, um, coming back to this is essentially, this is all about statistics talking about how um, teachers find it very difficult to engage students and how students are finding it difficult to be engaged. Now let's see what we did was, we said if this problem statement is about making sure that the experience is captured. For instance, we believe that education is a collaborative process and it has to be engaging both for the teachers and the taught. So our vision from an education perspective, Jabra's vision for education is to create a in-person experience of learning irrespective of wherever you're teaching from. So what we said was whatever uh, tools and you know that we are giving should ensure that we bring to a nearly an in-person in experience of teaching and learning. So we, we made sure that the product of the solution you have ensures that people are able to move fully viewable. So this is a product, right? So typically you'll see that in our booth outside, a very small little camera as big or as small as a mobile phone 
is there. What we did was typically, as I said, any video solution will have one camera which has a narrow focus. What we did was we mounted three cameras at a 4K high resolution mode and the patented software that we wrote stitched all the three images. So when you have three cameras, it covers the 100, entire 180 degrees. So if this is a camera there, typically if you stand here, you're not going to be captured. So what this does is it captures every bit and puts the, all the images together. Instead of showing you three images, it actually stitches all the three images together and shows you one big view. And the good thing about this is it's very, very um, portable. It's very small. Uh, it can be fixed on a stand. Um, recently, we delivered about 3,000, 2,850 of these devices to Sarasota Council in, uh, in the um, Valley region of the US. So what they did was they equipped every teacher with a camera like that, with a stand and a audio device. So what happens is when the teacher, in a times where everybody had driven to work from home, she is able to, he or she is able to put, the, put that up at home, have a flip chart on the side and speak. And you know, it's a, um, you have a, I'll show you the, um, uh, it is available there and I'll show you how it looks like. It is a speaker phone. Um, where you could move around and speak and you could speak from wherever, 360 degrees coverage from an audio perspective and 180 degrees coverage from a video perspective. So they could walk around, move, have a flip chart or a writing board and write and the students at the other side are able to see it. Now if you have a situation where everybody comes back to school or you have a blended where 50% or whatever percentage sits at home and others in the school, so the teacher at the school can focus, I'll show you one of those, the focus, the same thing, so the students at the other end can see the entire experience, you can keep this at an angle where the teacher is covered in full and some of the students are also covered giving their experience. We also have a video bar which includes the speakers uh, in it. So similarly, writing board is another thing, so besides, because of the 180 degrees coverage where you can write, we also have a app within that it comes uh, along with that where you could use anything and keep it vertical. For instance, if, if a writing board is kept like this, what you write cannot be covered by the camera. Because we have three cameras, we can have one of the cameras focusing on it. So the students you can enable in such a way where they can see the writing board and they can see the teacher or if you're using a flip chart or if you're showing a presentation, you can, you can flip it between that. So you just make sure that any props that you would typically use in a classroom across the board can be done with something like this. So there's another point that you have noticed is people focus on video. Please remember audio is equally or more important, right? Because video is good, but if you can't be heard uh, properly, you have a problem. Um, and, and, and it's very, very important. And as Jabra, we are audio engineers for a very, very long time. So we ensure that the quality of speech is good. And also remember, if you had to wear a headset, for a teacher to wear a headset for six hours or four hours is not easy. So comfort is very important and clarity of what you speak and hear is very, very important. So we ensure that is there. So we have a range of audio products starting from um, hands-free uh, speak that I was talking about through different style of wearing, whichever the teacher is comfortable with. We have some of these uh, lined up there for you to look at it. So please remember when you um, look at technology, make sure that you have the right audio and video so that you have a immersive experience and a in-person experience. So these are the multiple models where those cameras were used. If you write, see from there, the way it is pasted in number one, the entire classroom uh, from a teacher perspective is covered. The teacher can walk wherever and trying, you can see it. In two, if you see it's kept at an angle, so the teacher is covered and part of the students are covered. Here, two cameras are kept one facing the student and one facing the teacher. Again, 180 degrees, every, every student can be seen there. And the last one where it is also in, in another uh, county in the US where instead of giving one device per student, they bought about 100 and mounted it on carts. So the teacher would bring the cart in which will have a laptop, which will have all the props that they require and they used to teach. So multiple ways of uh, doing something like this. So one other thing that we move, we heard people talking about AI, I think that's the next step, right? Because we have the uh, devices that is required, we have the backend, we have the platforms, but what, what, is, what we're moving towards is AI. For AI to happen, both from a video and audio perspective, you need high quality devices. You could take a shortcut to invest into, you know, a quick um, video, you know, and uh, any, any headset. Um, that may not help as you introduce AI because in an AI environment, if the input is not very good, 
what you get will be a garbage. So it's very, very important. But a lot of work and a lot of research is being done um, on, on AI from an audio and video perspective. Another thing that you always remember, you have to notice, uh, each of us or each organization and each institution uses different kinds of backend platform, whether it is a Teams or a Zoom or a Google Meet. Uh, any product that you buy should be compatible with all these. Right? It's just not about your institution. You could have a visiting faculty those days. Somebody came physically today. Somebody is going to talk from wherever in using their platform. So you should you need compatibility, and ours is one. This is some of our customers, right from uh, Carnegie Mellon to NUS. All of them uses, use the Jabber device. So, um, and finally, all I would like to say is one is um, it is important to ensure that you know technology, the, the institutions are technology enabled. Please prepare and know that AI will be the future, and you will graduate possibly, as uh, one of the ma'am said, when when you talk about 5.0. You know, these things will have to happen, and AI will form a big part of it. All our devices that you see there are AI enabled. We have edge processors, which gives so much of information that can be used. And finally, please remember, teachers are teachers, right? They are meant to teach people, and please don't make them tech support engineers and distract them in future. So thank you. Have a wonderful um, rest of the day, and stay safe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for your enlightening words and guiding us through the new technological world that Jabra has to offer. I would like to call Dr. Parin Samani, ma'am, to come across and please honor sir within token of appreciation. Before we move ahead, this is a gentle reminder that we as team request you all to go through our social media platforms and like and share as we are live streaming through our Facebook page and we strongly believe that spread awareness spread through such strong personalities as you is the awareness spread in thousands. Thank you.